part one of this tutorial I'm just going to uh, set up the app to prepare for uh, pulling in the data from Google Maps API so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna add an app this probably you already have an app created for your leads or properties but I like to start from square one when I do these tutorials to help you out to make sure I answer all the questions so we're gonna create an app call it leads lead standard and everything else is fine create the app and we're going to create two fields these fields are going to be the required ones for uh, step one of the tutorial so uh, we're going to put in a map field or a location field I think they renamed that recently call this uh, address and we can keep all the uh, defaults set up here fine and get rid of this because I don't need it for this tutorial and then we're gonna add a text field and this is where you're gonna store the information you get from Google because once you get that information it's in a format called JSON which is JSON it's a specific format it's like XML or it's just a structure you'll see what I mean when we uh, when I demonstrate it for you so you want to I call this uh, I don't know address JSON just so I know what it is and then we want to make sure it's multi-lined and then we should be good to go here so we'll do done so now this app, simple app, has just two fields. It has an address field and it has the JSON field. In the next video, I'm going to take you to Globy Flow and show you how to set up what you need to do to pull in the information from Google Maps and get all the address property details here. So uh, if you have any questions, which you probably don't, shoot me up shoot an email to me or hit me up with a comment. Thanks.